Hello! In today's video we will discuss scam from Ukrainian women who claim they live on temporary occupied territories of Ukraine and those women who claim who live next to the war zone. I know that starting from April there has been a lot of scam going on from Ukrainian women and I will tell you in detail how not to fall into this scam trap. But before we move on, please like this video and check if you are subscribed to my channel. If you are not, please subscribe to it. So, let's get one thing straight. Those women with whom you correspond on dating agency websites and who claim that they live on occupied territories or next to the war zone area are not in Ukraine. They have moved in late February or during March this year and live somewhere in Europe, maybe in Poland, maybe in France, maybe in Germany, maybe in Spain, rent an apartment and they need money to live good and to eat good food how we say to live a tasty life. None of them want to work, and why should they? Remember golden rule that I taught you before, fool must be scammed. If you haven't watched that video, please watch it right here. It is a very essential video that everyone should watch. These ladies are trying to find fools, trying to find sugar daddies. And where do they find them? Correct on dating and marriage agency websites. In this video I will go over most usual scam techniques that they use. Of course, there may be more, but we will cover the most common ones. A little note here. We all here in Ukraine, we all hate these occupiers, these invaders. So when I will be talking about Russian soldiers, I will be calling them either Russists, as we call them here, or I will just call them terrorists. Because what they did in Kremenchuk, what they did in Vinnytsia yesterday, what they did in Nikolaev today, only terrorists can do that. So, we all hate them, we all want them to go back to Russia and stay there forever, and we don't want to do anything that relates to them. I am trying, let's say, to lower this hatred as much as I can, but when I see that they kill just civilians, that they kill children, everything explodes inside me. So, I will just call them terrorists. Let's move on. So, first type of scam. Girl may be claiming that she lives on a temporary occupied territory such as Kherson, maybe Melitopol, maybe Berdyansk. And life is pretty crap there on those temporary occupied territories. All those occupied territories where Russists came, it became almost impossible to live there. In many places there is almost no electricity, no water supply. If there are shops, prices in those shops are about three to five times more expensive than in Ukraine. And frankly speaking, people just survive there. Those people who hadn't any chance to escape from that temporary occupied territory. In 99% of cases, such girl will be asking you only for money. She will be telling you how expensive everything is, how difficult life is. She will be showing you photos from the internet with those high prices for a shampoo, for example, that costs around $20 for one bottle. She will be asking you to send money either by MoneyGram, Western Union or maybe even PayPal. Although PayPal is working in Ukraine now, they charge very high commissions for withdrawing money. But more about it maybe in some other video. You should know that such girl is scamming you. Why is she scamming you? Simply because there are no banks on temporary occupied territory and she cannot get that money in any way. It is almost impossible to withdraw money on such territories. And many foreigners just do not know about it, or maybe they just do not want to think about it. Many men send money to these poor souls, and when they check those transactions, somehow they get through. So when you are sending such transaction, for example, by MoneyGram or by Western Union, and when you check if it is received, it will be received. And sometimes even within minutes from that time when you tell that girl a transaction number. Indeed, banking in Ukraine is very, very good right now. 
Second scam technique that may be used is that girl will be telling you that she lives in Kharkiv or maybe in Nikolaev. Both cities are not occupied by Russians, but they are right next to the war zone. Kharkiv's location is a little bit worse because it is located right next to those terrorists. It is just 30 minutes drive if there wouldn't be any war from Kharkiv to the border with that terrorist country. And such girl or woman will be telling you that city is being bombed every day and night. And it is true, because you can watch it on TV. It is on every news channel around the world. Kharkiv and Nikolaev are being bombed pretty, pretty heavily. And people who live there have a pretty awful life. But that scammer girl is not there 99.9 percent .9%. she lives either somewhere on the western side of ukraine or most probably in europe usually such girls are telling that they have lost their jobs that they have no money to survive now that they need to pay for electricity for their maybe rented apartments and so on and so on but those girls are not in those cities. So it's a scam, 99.9% .9 is that they're somewhere in Europe or in Carpathian region, maybe in Kyiv, maybe in Ivano-Frankivsk, Khmelnytsky, Rovno, where there is no war. And they will be just asking you for money to help them because there is nobody else to help. Third scam technique is when girl is telling you that she lives right next to the war zone in such cities as Slavyansk, Kramatorsk, maybe Bakhmut, and so on and so on. It's right next to the war zone. She will be telling you that her city is being bombed and rockets are being fired at that city many times a day, many times at night. And it is true about those cities, but once again, that girl is not in that city, because those cities have almost no electricity, have no internet connection, have no water supply, gas supply, almost nothing. It's almost impossible to live in those cities right now. So, a good question, how can girl from such city chat with you? if there is no electricity, if there is no internet connection. In addition to that, some girls may wear pretty sexy clothes, maybe with a makeup, and they claim that they live right next to the war zone, when war is about five or seven kilometers away from them. It's about five miles. In such areas, banks do not work, not a single bank. Not even shops are open there. So it's absolutely impossible to get money there. But if you send her MoneyGram or Western Union transaction, it will go through very, very fast. So it's impossible to live in such area, impossible to chat with you because there is no internet connection. Just don't believe such girl. It's a scam, 100% scam. Fourth scam technique, a more extreme scam technique. Girl may be claiming that she lives in Mariupol. Mariupol is a city which has been on the news for a couple of months and life there is just awful. It's almost impossible to live there right now. About 80% of buildings have been destroyed. Destroyed completely, it's impossible to live there. In Mariupol there is almost no electricity, no water supply, they don't have any water from the tap. They have to get to the street and get water from those several cars that Russists provide them with. Of course, there is no internet anywhere in Mariupol. Not even mobile internet, because Russists stole all those mobile transmitters or they just switched them off. And no way for a girl to communicate with you from Mariupol. Absolutely no way. And of course, there are no banks anywhere there. It's a temporary occupied territory. So no way to receive your money in Mariupol. And such girls will be talking to you as usual, claiming that they may be in Mariupol, but they are not there. They just want to scam you. They want your money. And now let's move on even to more creative scammers. Some girls may be claiming they were forced to live in occupied territory and now they are somewhere in Russia, maybe in Novosibirsk, maybe in Siberia, maybe next to Magadan or somewhere in those cities where nobody wants to live. They may be telling you that they have been forcibly moved to those Russian areas 
by those bloody Russian soldiers. And they are without any passport, without their birth certificates, without documents, without money, without clothes, without anything. They just have like their maybe driving license. And that's the only way how they can receive money there. They don't have any money. You are their only hope and that only you can help them. And of course, they will be ready for everything when they move out from their territory and come to you. Again, they will ask you for MoneyGram or Western Union and they will ask you to send it to Ukraine because by internet banking they can access their Ukrainian bank account and they can withdraw money from their Visa or MasterCard in Russia. But that's an absolute BS because Russia has been called a terrorist country, they are under sanctions and Visa nor MasterCard nor American Express, nor any other international payment system works in Russia right now. It's absolutely impossible to withdraw money from Visa or MasterCard in that terrorist country. It is like North Korea right now there. They have only their own payment system, which works only within the country, and it is called MIR, which means peace. Funny thing, eh? Invaders and occupiers call their payment system MIR as peace. Really, really funny. I have only bad words about them, but I will not say them here. You should know that it is true that some Ukrainian people are forcibly moved by Russia's soldiers to those crap areas in their country, to Siberia, maybe to Kamchatka. But those terrorists take away people's documents, that's true. And they take away people's smartphones, notebooks, everything. They will never let those girls take their smartphones, their computers with them, and they will never provide them with good internet connection so that they can chat with you. No way, absolutely no way. So it's a scam. Don't believe those poor girls' stories. They just want to scam you. They just want your money. Once again, they are in a safe place most probably like 85% probability somewhere in Europe and they just need money for what we call tasty life. How can you entertain yourself with such girls? How can you entertain yourself with these scammers? Tell them that you're suspicious about their location and that you need some proof about it. And how can you get such proof? For example, she's chatting with you in this outfit. Okay, not in this outfit, she cannot go out on the street in such outfit. But let's say she's chatting with you in a t-shirt like this. So ask her to go out on the street and to take several selfies of herself in that t-shirt next to some monument in that city where she claims she lives. Either she lives in, let's say, Nikolaev, in Kharkiv, maybe on a temporary occupied area, such as Kherson or Melitopol, or maybe even in Mariupol, and ask her to take several selfies. Several selfies in that t-shirt which she was wearing when you video chatted with her, video chatted right now, today or maybe yesterday, and selfie next to some monument or maybe some big shop, maybe some big mall that you can find on the internet when you google for that city where she claims she lives. I should note here that in Ukraine it is now not possible, it is not allowed to walk on the street and take videos of yourself. It is not allowed to take photos of places in the city because it's a war and people may post something on their social media and enemy may use that location to harm people. Maybe that's how it was done in Kremenchuk, in Vinnytsia, in Nikolaev when they bombed trading center, when rocket hit Vinnytsia yesterday, almost in the center of the city, and where more than 50 people died. So it's not allowed to shoot photos, even to take selfies right now. But if she needs money, she can do that, I think. And you need proof that she is in that city. Just entertain yourself and see what she tells you about that. What she tells you when she is not in the city where she claims to live. That should be pretty funny and pretty entertaining. 
There may be other tricks from girls that claim they live on occupied territories or next to the war zone. And I would never believe in this story if it was not told to me by one client with whom I had a consultation three days ago. And creativity of that scammer really shocked me. Usually I don't tell anything about my clients, but Gregory from Salt Lake City asked me to reveal this story to the public so that people know how they can be scammed. Gregory has been corresponding with a girl for over a year, with a girl from Mariupol, or at least how she claimed to be from Mariupol. Several weeks ago she told him that her two kids were kidnapped by Russians and that they wanted ransom, $5,000 ransom for both of them. For several days she was calling him on WhatsApp, she was crying, she did a lot of video chats with him. And before she didn't want to video chat with him by WhatsApp, only through the dating site platform. But this time she called him several times a day, she was crying all the time and she was asking for money. Then she told him that ransom was lowered to $3,000 and that these $3,000 were needed like within two days. Gregory sent her those $3,000 and two days later she called him and she said that they have released only her daughter but not her son and for her son she needs additional $3,000. So Gregory was asking me how it is possible to help her. How is it possible to get her son out of that terrorist captivity? I proposed to Gregory to check her mobile phone's location. And guess what? She was in France, in roaming. But 3000 was received in Ukraine without any problems. Very, very fast. Was received claiming that she was in Mariupol. And in Mariupol, you remember, I told you, there are no banks. There are almost no shops nothing there. It's like a destroyed, completely destroyed city. So that was a real professional scam. Probably that scammer ran out of money and needed more money to eat oysters, frog legs, or maybe that Louis Vuitton bag that maybe she wants to buy in Paris. As you can see, there may be many creative scam schemes right now. If any of you need my individual help, Please write me email at my email address and I am always glad to help those people who really need help. If you would like to support me or maybe to help homeless and poor people in Ukraine or maybe help families who lost their homes and who lost everything or maybe you want to help people who need medicine in Ukraine, who really need medicine or maybe help homeless animals you can do so by PayPal at my email address as well. We will be thankful for every donation. And as I said in my previous video, if you want to help Ukraine, if you want to help people in Ukraine, but you do not know organization or person, or you do not trust that organization or person, do not send anything, because there is really a lot of scam going on with donations here right now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And I wish you all health, good luck, prosperity, success, peace in your family and in your country. And of course, stay healthy and wealthy.